Okay, and then in question 6b, we we have a very similar situation, except we just have to identify what our set of values here are that we're plotting against. So R stands for real numbers. Okay, this means any value that is um, decimals, whole numbers, negative integers, K. So it's all points on the line, all points on the graph. Okay, as opposed to just being the integer component. So again, um, we just I'm going to rewrite the equation. We're going to put it into point slope form. We'll identify the slope and the intercept and then go from there. So rewriting this equation, we're just going to flip things around. So it's going to be 5y is greater than or equal to um, negative 2x minus 5. Okay, so I'm just going to line up the variables as we need. Um, that's our first step. Our second step is going to be to divide by 5 on every term. Okay, that will make our resultant equation y is greater than or equal to negative 2 fifths x. Um, and this is going to give us, it looks like, minus 1 at that point. So we know a couple things. We know our slope is now negative 2 over 5. And we know our b intercept is negative 1 which means our coordinate is 0, negative 1. Okay, so our point here is 0, 1, right here. That is our plotted point. Um, we know our slope is going to be negative 2 down and then 5 over. So negative 2 down will give us 2 points down to negative 3, and then 5 over, which is going to be right there. So we have our two points. Now we just have to know what, what we're plotting here. Um, we are using a greater than or equal to sign. Okay, so it's greater than or equal to. So what does that tell us? That tells us it's going to be a solid line. Okay, so let's put that in right away. Connect the two dots, draw it as straight as you can. Okay, you can use a straight edge if you have one or just, just freehand um, as straight as possible. So we're including all points on the boundary. And then where do we shade? Do we shade up or below? Well, because we have y is greater than, that's implying that we are going to be shading all points above the line. And because it's real numbers at this point, okay, we can just mark it in and shade all the values above the equation, just like that. So this is going to be um, the shaded answer to this question, where we draw a solid line, connect the two points, and then we um, shade all values above the line, stating, showing that y is, is, is going to be greater than. If it was less than, we could just simply shade below the line. Okay, so that's um, how you would do that question.